In this second video about single page applications, we will see some enhancements to the standard ASP.NET MVC validation engine offered by the Data Moving plugin. Let's remove the name of this item. Since the name is a required field, an error is immediately shown on the screen. However, if we go to a different page of the grid, the entity in error is removed from the from the user interface. So the standard jQuery validation is not able to detect any error. However, thanks to the data moving enhancement, an error is detected also in this case. A message box is shown on the video with an advice to that to help us to find the entity in errors. This message box was created by using a, an error callback. So let it the show errors button. The error button act like uh, a filter that filter only the entity that uh, are in error. So you can browse all the errors we have in the entity set. Now you can simply undo the previous change to remove the error. Oops. And uh, we can uh, revert to the normal grid view by clicking the refresh button. Now let's try to to sub to use uh, Aldo Esposito as uh, as uh, lead artist. So we have to change his settings to enable him to be a leader. And like, let's try to submit this thing. An error is immediately signaled, saying that uh, seven years, a seven years experience is required to be a team leader. This error was created by entity level validation rules that uh, the developer has the option to add to each entity set. These validation rules are important to reduce the round trip to the server because they allow simple errors to be discovered before submitting the changes to the server. So let us correct this error. So our dispositor cannot be leader. So we have to choose Richard that for sure can be a leader. They try to submit this team. Another error because the in overall validation rule say us that the team is incomplete. In fact, the data moving plugin allow also to add full view model validation rule. So let's complete our team with the team leader, with the, a programmer leader, sorry. But uh, let's do something else. Let's change the email of uh, Carlino Mendes. So now let's try to submit this to the server. 
but this time the changes are all changes are submitted to the server but we receive an error back from the server the error is shown at the entity level but if you show the entity in the detail view we see the that the error is due to the email we have changed. Actually, this error was uh, it is a fake error I added to the in the controller, but we may imagine that the server controlled the email and discovered it is a, a, a wrong email. In order to obtain this uh, behavior, we exploited basically two features of the data moving plugin. The first feature is uh, error bubbling. Thanks to error bubbling, the error on the email field is bubbled up to the entity level, so we can see it in the in the in the grid that doesn't contain any email field. We have exploited another feature that is the synchronization between main view and uh, detailed views. Thanks to these synchronizations, errors are errors on the main entity are shown also in uh, in uh, the detailed views. That's all for now. In the next video about single page application, we will see a powerful client side rendering technique.